All right, so what is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Mega Savage Man. How are you guys doing this fine morning, afternoon? Whenever you're watching this video, now this is going to be a little tutorial guide, you know, and everything on how to farm gold efficiently. They officially made, obviously, you guys seen it, you know, best way to farm gold, everything like that, you know. 30 million gold in a night, you know, stuff like that. Shout out to Boy Nog. Um, but yeah, man, we're about to see exactly how much gold I can get. So, if you guys are new and do enjoy the content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss a video or an occasional live stream from your boy. All right. And let me know how much gold you guys have gotten currently. Um, I would say save your stamina pots just because the um, the event that is coming with Assault Mode Melee, um, which is the Camilla event, it's basically like that disaster event that we got all the blue stones from. Um, so I would definitely, definitely save your stamina pots, unlike me. All right, unlike unlike your boy, I farmed a bunch. All right, and I literally have 30 stamina pots left. So this is why I say wait for half stam, everything like that before you start farming gold. You know, farm a little bit, get you a little bit of gold, but I would say just wait, all right? But as you guys can see right here, I got 75 UR chests. I have almost 700 of the SSR chests, and I have over a thousand SR chests, man. All right, so we're about to see exactly how much gold we can get from all of these chests all right before we get into the little guide thing right but if you guys didn't know they did upgrade or revamp the entire uh fort soldress or the sp dungeon all right um they have made it so so much better to farm gold farm anvils and you can get um super awakening coins as well from all of the last stages um, on the Fort Soldiers as well. All right, so make sure that you guys are farming that. Make sure you guys go ahead and complete all those stages and get you guys those Super Awakening coins on top of that. Get you some gold, man. All right, so we're gonna sell all this. Right now we're at not even a million. <laughs> so we're at like a half a million right now. So let's sell all of this. So look at that, almost 60K gold. And this is just, this is literally from eight hours of farming. And just because, you know, I went to sleep, I farmed it, went to sleep, and then woke up seven hours later, let it farm for another hour, and this is what I got, okay? And this is exactly what I got. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. Let's go. All that gold. Where did I get all that gold from? I will show you. All right, over here. Now, um, they made the um, the dungeon key, this one right here, the special, the event uh, shop right here as well, so much better, so much more better, man. So now it's just one stage instead of everything being, um, so instead of everything being, you know, separated into three categories for the gold pendants, uh, not the gold pendants, uh, for gold um, and, you know, XP and stuff like that. Now it's all in one. So as you guys can see right here, it's all in one now. So that is really, really good. All right. So now you have the chance to get this. Now you have the chance to get UR chests in here and the R, uh, UR uh, XP potions as well, man. All right. But as you guys can see, they have Super Awakening coins as the first time clear and everything like that, which is really good. Um, you get them right here on this stage as well. So definitely, definitely go in here and complete this. All right. Go ahead and complete this. All right, um, the stage is fairly easy um, if you have a good team and everything. It might be a little hard for you new players to complete this. Um, I think that this team, this final stage right here, the fifth floor, has about 180k CC, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, man, go ahead and do this. Farm this up whenever it's half stamina. I'm going to stress that again. Whenever, um, whenever it's half stamina, go ahead and go over here to the gold to go ahead and farm this gold, man. Farm it, because it'll be 28 stamina instead of 48. That's a lot of stamina, man. As you guys can see, a ranked 80 account only has 99 stamina. 
So that's literally about half. So every time. So one stamina pot only gets you two runs of this. So that's why I say wait until half stamina to start farming the gold and everything. But as you guys can see, um, on the gold, if you get a gold drop, it's a 5%, you get a UR chest, 35% chance to get an SSR, 60% to get it to get an SR. So basically almost every run, you know, um, I was getting the SSR chest, you know, every like three to four to five runs, I would get a UR chest, man. Um, but you can still farm these as well. You know, I wouldn't advise you to farm anything but the fifth floor, just because you do have that chance to get a UR chest. But you know, this stage is, um, it can be difficult for you new players. All right. Um, I would suggest to just farm the stage that you're, you know, more comfortable with that you know you can clear and that you won't have any troubles on um, in, you know, completing it and everything. So make sure that you guys are doing that uh, whenever it's half stamina. All right. Um, but yeah, man, you know, they, they made it so much better as you guys, you know, with these ones right here, you can farm anvils and stuff that's over here down on this stage. I am um, waiting for half stamina before I start doing that. Um, just because obviously I don't have stamina pots, man. All right. Um, but yeah, this, the way they did the SP dungeon, so, so, so much better, man. So much better. Just from one overnight farming, usually typically like, um, what? Whenever you overnight farm books in the past, you would only get like, you know, about 20 mil, 20 to 30 mil gold whenever you would farm overnight books. Um, typically, usually whenever we'd farm books on Global or JP in the past, you know, whenever it was half stamina for books, you know, you would only come out of there with that entire weekend with like 50, 60 mil. This is literally in eight hours, man. Eight hours versus an entire weekend of half stamina. Think about it, all right? This is absolutely insane, man, all right? I cannot stress this enough, but yeah. Let me know if this video was helpful for you guys, all right? Obviously it should be. Farm that gold, man. But save until half stamina. It's better to just go ahead and farm the uh, Camilla event that's coming up just because on top of getting gold, you guys will be able to get blue stones as well. Blue stones are these things over here. Um, I'm going to show you guys whenever King pops up. Right here, these things right here. This is how I got 366 of these blue stones is from that disaster event. So go ahead and make sure that you guys save up your stamina pots for that, man. So you guys can start getting these right here, which are for UR equipment and everything. All right. You need one of those six star blue stones for you to get um, one piece of UR gear. All right. As you guys can see over here with Merlin and everything, UR gear is not cheap. Okay. UR gear is just not cheap. So if I were to click on this, you know, click on one of these, right? It costs one of these. 10 of these purple stones. All right, so make sure that you guys are saving for that. All right, but either way, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash like, all the good jazz. We're on the road to 3K, man. Um, let me know if you guys are actually gonna summon on the Assault Meliodas banner. If you are, then, you know, that's you. You know, you, you, know, you, you summon for the characters that you want. At the end of the day, it is your gems. Okay, don't let anyone influence you on not summoning on a character that you want. If you really want Assault Mode Meliodas and you have the gems, then summon. Okay, don't let anyone like me or, you know, Nagato, Speedy, Amazing, Sora, you know, BS Gaming, you know, whoever, you know, Seton, you know, whoever, whoever, whoever is, you know, all of us made a video on do not summon for Meliodas, right? That is just, you know, for us to let Netmarble know, like, you know, you guys are pushing out content way too fast. All right. And we are going to boycott this. This is hashtag boycott Assault Meliodas 2021. All right. But if you want to summon, if you are a Meliodas simp, then summon, man. Summon. All right. And if I see anyone in my comment section, you know, flaming someone because, you know, 
they didn't follow the boycott, then I will. I will ban you from the channel. All right. I don't want to see any kind of hate. I don't want to see anything like that in the comment section. Just because at the end of the day, that is their choice. That is their that is their favorite character. Okay? And we're all about love on this channel. You guys already know this. All right? We're all about love on this channel. All right? I love all of you. You guys stay safe and let me know. All right? Let me know if you guys are something familiar. Just because I might change my mind too. <laughs> But we'll see, all right? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm not making any promises, man. I'm making a promise to myself to keep from summoning. But as soon as I start seeing Assault Moon Meliodas, I really want that unit. I am a Meliodas simp for... I'm simping for that Meliodas. I love that Meliodas, all right? But, yeah. I gotta stick to my word and not summon. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash like, all the good jazz. And I will see you guys in the next one, Deuces.